Aloha and Mabuhai. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, your host for Pinoy Power Hawaii. I want to welcome you to another special edition of Pinoy Power Hawaii here on Think Tech Hawaii. We come to you live every Tuesday at 12 noon. Much mahalo again to uh, Think Tech Hawaii for giving us the opportunity to come to your home where we aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and we hope to empower. Uh, today is a very, very special day. And uh, along in line with uh, the uh, uh, month for lovers of February, we have these two special uh, people in my life that uh, serves as an inspiration and also uh, they are my idols uh, because they simply are two loving people uh, and without further ado I'd like to introduce to you our guests uh, John and Nancy Ortiz. Jan, John is our master uh, retired US Navy master chief so he is the chief and uh, of course, the queen of the household uh, from the Alma Latina show, uh, Queen Nancy Ortiz. <laughs> Welcome to Pinoy Power Hawaii. Welcome. Thank, Thank you, thank you very you. much. Love is in the air, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, we are all dressed up for the occasion. <laughs> Sir John, Master yes. John, yes. thank you so much for uh, appearing on Think Tech Hawaii. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, very talented uh, people who does so much to... Uh, contribute and also uplift and empower our community in so many ways. Uh, Hermana, Sister yes. Uh, Nancy, yes. uh, tell us about you and uh, the chief. <laughs> All right, what do you want to know about everything the chief? that you can share? All right. <laughs> well, uh, you know, um, ironically enough, uh, the chief and I got married on Valentine's Day. Isn't and that it was awesome? Actually, a Saturday when we got married. Uh huh. And so it was, you know, us with the Latinos, big blowout, right? Yes. Yes. But um, prior to that, uh, we met, uh, I think we were only, what, about a year going about together? Yeah, just about a year. Just about a year going together. And, uh -huh. and uh, we both, um, actually, I, I was ready to, to take that step again. Mm -hmm. uh, he was not. Mm -hmm. But. Um, Within what we met in January and in October, he asked to marry me. He tells wow. the story better. Go ahead. Yes. yes. Let's hear your version. Well, actually, I met Nancy. First time I saw her was 1977. Oh. Uh -huh. On a Mother's Day. We were playing music in his club. Mm -hmm. And here this beautiful woman walks by. Yes. And I'm looking. And one of my players knows her very, very well. Uh -huh. So later on, you know, I asked him, who's that girl? I think, oh, she's a really nice lady. Uh -huh. And so he kind of introduced us. And from there on, it just, why not just marry away? Was it love at first sight, Jack? Just, uh, not at first. Uh -huh. But she kind of grew on me, but mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. <laughs> and it's one of the best decisions I ever made was asking her to marry me. Wow. Publicly uh, and officially. Officially, yeah. Yes. And well, the best place was at Lonakil Park, right? Uh -huh. We come to the intersection and the car stopped. Mm -hmm. I figured, I better do something. So the light was red. Mm -hmm. I said, would you marry me? She looked at me and she said, uh -huh. she didn't know what to say. And the light turned green. <laughs> I said, well, are you going to marry me or not? I'm not moving until you answer me. <laughs> Stop and the trying. car in the back was blessing the heart. <laughs> She said, okay, okay, I'll marry you. Move. Okay, so we did. <laughs> she had no choice. <laughs> but it was like that. That's perfect timing, yep. as uh, we say. Wow. Very and nice. uh, how and many years, sis? 38 years. 38 years. Valentine's years. Day. Yes. I was uh, inspired to uh, call you uh, because I knew that you have, you have a great love story to share. And uh, judging from what I see, I observe where you uh, lovingly come to drop off uh, my sister to her show. And uh, I see you do that all the time. Yes, ma'am. And yet you never stick around for the show. No, I listen to it on the outside. Yes, <laughs> but you are the backbone uh, because you do everything in preparation for her uh, big show, whether yes. it's putting on her radio show on Alma Latina or the big productions that she does when she puts on a pageant or the community for uh, Latinos. Sis, tell us about that. Yes, he's, he's with me all the time. Um, I do 
uh, a lot of you out there know, besides my alma latina show, I do a mm -hmm. lot of festivals. Yes. And um, he's right there. And, you know, that is one of the ways of keeping a marriage or, you know, a partnership is do the things together. Mm -hmm. And so everything I do, I always ask him first. And I said, hey, you know, I'm going to do this, this, this. Will you help me? He says, go for it. Wow. And I go for it. The and, biggest supporter. Yeah. And as you know, he's a musician as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the only hobby he has besides me. And so he, he I'm there. I'm yes. there with him. I support him all the way, 100% as well. Well, it's a great hobby to uh, have uh, because in line with what we do in the community, yes, exactly. we always need music yes. to complete it, right? Sir John, so rather than hiring, because mus musicians can be very, very expensive. Oh, you know? yes. Uh -huh. yes, yes, yes. But I've been very fortunate. Because the band I play with, mm -hmm. they all support me and they support Nancy. Yes. So when she needs something, they say, yes, let's go, and we go. So it's like a double uh, cause, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Right. I'm going to send a shout out to Latin Amigos, yes. They're oh, amigos. Latin Amigos. That's the name of it. Yes. This. Awesome. Okay, uh, so. I've seen you on social media mm -hmm. having a great time oh. and all to the wee hours. Yes. Uh, tell us more about uh, your love of music. Well, I actually... My love of music goes back to the time I was five years old. Five? Yeah. And uh, my neighbor noticed, I used to like, there were two brothers always playing music. I wasn't mm -hmm. listening. Mm -hmm. So he asked my dad one day, he said, you know, I got this old ukulele. I want to string it up for your son mm -hmm. and teach him a few keys. So that's what happened. And that's how it began? Yeah. With right. A, with a ukulele, played that for a little while, and then it advanced to the guitar. Mm -hmm. And I found that I really enjoyed that. And, you know, for some reason, I just could pick it up and went from there. Uh-huh. Yes. And uh, that's the wonderful uh, thing about being uh, uh, naturally uh, being given the talent. Mm -hmm. to, I didn't know I had that until I yeah. started. Yeah. That. Then after that, you know, you listen to a song and you play it. Mm -hmm. And I don't read music. And wow. I've, had, I've actually had this guy tell me, he said, I've been watching you. He said, you play all these different keys, but you don't, you don't read music. I said, mm -hmm. no, I don't. You just listen and play. That's a total gift. It is. Right? It is to me. Uh -huh. I really enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, he's left-handed. So Lefties he, are very talented. Yes, he plays yeah. the bass upside down. Right? Yeah, uh, it's strong enough for, for a right-hander, but I play mm -hmm. left-handed. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And that, that also got this guy excited. <laughs> that is so awesome. Yeah. yeah. But the, the reason for that was, we were at a party one time, one of our first dates, mm -hmm. and we were at a wedding at the HIC. And we were sitting there enjoying, and this guy come over, young boy, he said, hey, John, I said, my dad wants to talk to you. Mm -hmm. So I looked, I said, okay, so I know his father real well. He's a leader of this other band. Mm -hmm. So I come up, and said, what's up? He told me, my bass player just left. He got into a confrontation and took off. Ooh. So he was stuck with other bass. I said, I don't play the bass. He told uh -huh. me, you play the guitar? You can play the bass. Uh -huh. I said, okay. I'm laughing. And he said, I seen you play upside down. So you can. And that's uh -huh. how it started. So he had him with the bass. I still got the bass at home. <laughs> he told me, here, this is yours. Wow. And we went from there. And uh, I was at a band for a long time. We made an album. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's, I really enjoyed it I, for some reason, even now till today. That is so awesome yeah. to hear us. Uh, stories from the heart and how everything unfolds because yeah. of your passion passions in life the love of music mm -hmm. uh and couple that with the love of the love of your life oh, my really? one and only oh, valentine really? yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah i see you folks all together well, you, you know, uh, all the time i think uh you know at that age uh when john and i met mm -hmm. i was a very independent woman you know, I can tell. Single it's mother, <laughs> indep very independent. And what I really admired of this um, young man, I'm still going to call him a young man, mm -hmm. even though next month is his Forever birthday. Forever young. Yes. He'll be 85. Wow. Next month. Sir John. Yes. Mm -hmm. Looking but good. What really got me, you know, um, a young man from Kauai, born and raised in Kauai, mm -hmm. his mannerism, you know, everywhere we would go, he would open the door and close the door in a car or wherever it was. Gentleman. Yes, very yes. gentleman. And he was very gentle. Mm -hmm. um, and I really admired that because, you know, us rough, you know, doing things out there, Tita. independent woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he was the complete opposite. Uh -huh. And I think that that's what really attracted us, you know. And until this day, we still 
do things together. I mean, believe me, mm -hmm. it's no nobody can say they have a perfect marriage. Right. But we know how to work it out. If we're angry with each other, we know mm -hmm. how to work it out. Why we are angry with each other. Mm -hmm. We don't go to bed angry at each other mm -hmm. or anything like that. Or the next morning we'll get up and look at each other and say, gee, what happened? Why mm -hmm. were we angry? We don't even know. We started laughing, you know? Yes. But that's, that's just how it is. And communication. Our communication is always open. Mm -hmm. We talk about everything and anything. And, um, you know, if we don't like something about each other, it's like, okay, sit down, talk to me. You know, what am I doing wrong? Or sit, you know, just... Things wow. of that sort. Communication is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you hit in some key points uh, that you have mentioned. Of course, uh, communication is the big C, mm -hmm. uh, the big yeah. word. If we don't communicate, how do yeah. wow. uh, how do we uh, come across our feelings uh, and be able to resolve things? Really, really important. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's uh, one of the key key points yes. in uh, keeping a relationship, as you had mentioned. Uh, number two is uh, a lot of us hold grudges. Mm -hmm. uh, some mm -hmm. of us hold grudges for life. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, we go to our final resting place without uh, being Resolving. able to resolve things. Mm -hmm. And then we have regrets. Yep, right? absolutely. So in your case, uh, to give the tips to never go to bed uh, angry mm -hmm. uh, and have hold that hatred, mm -hmm. that is also uh, another great uh, tip in keeping Absolutely. a loving relationship. Absolutely. Wow. And you know us, Amy, we're Aquarians, so you know us. We're going to say what we want. We don't, you know, it's like it is. We say it like mm -hmm. it is. But it's okay. The next day we're fine. Yes. You know? But if we have to say something, we're going to say it. That is, that is so awesome uh, to hear because, uh, like uh, you had mentioned, nobody has the uh, perfect marriage. No, exactly. Uh, we all have our own challenges. Yes. Yeah. Now that my husband is older, I have to repeat myself over and over uh, <laughs> because he is developing uh, signs of aging. Yes. Cannot hear sometimes, mm -hmm. but I hate to repeat myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How many times I've told you? I already said that to you. You know. But. Uh, but you still love him. Right? I love him. Absolutely. And I feel like uh, the repetitions. Uh, sometimes is needed to mm -hmm. reiterate, mm -hmm. you know, to mm -hmm. retell, mm -hmm. uh, not necessarily a bad thing, mm -hmm. but sometimes we like to hear it over and over, oh, yeah. especially the special words of oh, yeah. uh, Sir John, mm -hmm. yeah, which, and which is appropriate. I love you very much. Oh, they tell that to Sister Nancy. She knows that, I love you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> He's not afraid to. Uh, I am actually. Uh -huh. I'm actually shocked because uh, you may not know it, but John is a very uh, <clears throat> private person, very shy. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you asked us to do the show uh, today, I asked him, and I thought he would say, "Oh no, I don't want to do it." He uh -huh. turned around and he said, "Sure, wow, I can, I can go on there and talk about us and our love and all of that." Because he knows I can count on him, brother John. Yeah, yeah. So Whenever I you say, say you're wow. coming. You are coming, yeah, and you it. deliver. Yeah, right. Yeah, and that's really, really important too, sis. I found out that if I say something and I don't act on it, and I, I, I don't fulfill uh, that promise, uh, it seems like uh, I had broken mm -hmm. uh, the promise that I made. Yeah. So you can agree with me that it's important to keep our word, yeah. uh, which is our bond. And uh, Brother uh, Chief John, is shaking his head, agreeing yes. mm -hmm. that Definitely. That's our word is our bond. We uh, need to take that extra step to not just say it, sis. Mm -hmm. Like, talk mm -hmm. is cheap, right? That's right. Yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, putting it into action mm -hmm. is very, very important, especially in our line of business mm -hmm. where people depend on us. Mm -hmm. We have timelines that we have to develop. And in order for us to uh, go on with the show, we got to keep it going. Absolutely. Keep our work. Yep, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yes. Uh, these are golden tips that we're hearing from uh, Master John and, of course, my hermana, Sis Nancy, my sister from uh, another, uh, <laughs> another, another mother. <laughs> uh, we want to thank them for sharing uh, their special love story, uh, especially for this Valentine, my one and only Valentine. We want to wish you all happy Hearts Day and keep that romance alive. 
We will be right back here on Pinoy Power Hawaii on Think Tech Hawaii. Hey, aloha. My name is Andrew Lanning. I'm the host of Security Matters Hawaii, airing every Wednesday here on Think Tech Hawaii, live from the studios. I'll bring you guests. I'll bring you information about the things in security that matter to keeping you safe, your coworkers safe, your family safe, to keep our community safe. Uh, we want to teach you about those things in our industry that, you know, may be a little outside of your experience. So please join me because security matters. Aloha. Aloha. I'm Yukari Kunisue, the host of Konnichiwa Hawaii, Japanese talk show on ThinkTech Hawaii. Konnichiwa Hawaii is all Japanese broadcast show and it's streamed live on ThinkTech at 2 p.m. every other Monday. Thank you so much for watching our show. We look forward to seeing you then. I'm Yukari Kunisue. Mahalo. Welcome back to Pinoy Power Hawaii here on ThinkTech Hawaii. We have the pleasure of coming to your home live every Tuesday at 12 noon. I am your host, Emmy Ortega Anderson. Uh, that's my Latin connection. Uh, my dad is from uh, Toledo, Spain. So oh, I, have, uh, uh, I have a Spanish blood in me. Uh, that, that's why I, I am so part, uh, so proud uh, to uh, feature my hermana, my sister, uh, Alma Latina producer, that's Nancy Ortiz. And of course, USN uh, Master Chief, uh, Sir yes. John Ortiz. Thank you again for the opportunity that uh, you have given us. Uh, thank you for saying yes, sir. No, no just like the bank that says yes all the time. All the time, yes. <laughs> Uh, since we're on that topic, are you a yes man? Is uh, that one yeah. of the uh, a secret also? Sis? Yes, yes, it is. He's a uh, yes man. Yeah, oh, yeah, he is to a certain extent. Okay. Yes, to a certain, to a certain point. extent. Yeah, but oh. most of the time. Uh huh. Yeah, it's Nancy's way. <laughs> <laughs> but he got you first well, yep, with that uh, <laughs> with that yes, yes. on that uh, uh, that green light oh, where yes. you wouldn't go. Yes, that's yes. right. That's, that's right. true. It's true. That is so awesome. It is so uh, heartwarming to uh, hear uh, this uh, love story that uh, never need to be uh, spoken at times. Sometimes just the uh, locking of the eyes mm -hmm. uh, will tell you or the holding of the hands, mm -hmm. you know, in secrecy, like when you're in church, perhaps, or anywhere else. Do you know that he holds my hand all the time? I think you've seen us walking wow. together. Everywhere we go, I mean, he's uh -huh. always holding my hand. So that's awesome. Now, is that interdependency, sis, or it's just uh, being comfortable? Being comfortable. Uh huh. Comfortable yeah. and uh, in love. In love, all right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, what are some of the things that you do that that is not costly uh, to share your special love? Give some pointers. Well, always listen to what they tell you. Mm hmm. When you got to say something, you pay attention. Okay. And if you can help, you do it. If you cannot, that's okay. Now, in her case, she don't drive. Okay. So I made it a vow to myself. Mm -hmm. I would take her any place she got to go. Thank you for driving her here today. That's any time. Uh-huh. And this is, has been like that for the whole time we've been together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And as far as opening and closing the door, mm -hmm. I learned it from my father. Mm-hmm. He always did that for my mom. So you saw it growing up, yeah. being a gentleman. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you would say that uh, you, because you're a, a master chief. In the military. Yeah, yeah uh, part of your military training, but it goes beyond that. Beyond that, yes. Uh -huh. yeah. And that's from your upbringing. Yeah. Uh, happy for you to mention that it was seeing your idol, your father, uh, doing that to your mama, mm -hmm. and therefore it stuck. Yeah, it stayed with me. Yeah. It's a way of being a gentleman. And he has always told me and my brother, mm -hmm. you always respect a woman. No matter how angry you are at her, mm -hmm. you keep your feelings inside mm -hmm. and don't, don't get verbal. Mm -hmm. So I try to do that a lot. Sometimes you're going to get carried away. But we're human. Yeah, we're human. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, you know, and I can see him looking down and saying, hey, bro, you know. But I, I've been very fortunate because I've had a very understanding parents, both of them. Mm -hmm. And, uh, like, when we were kids, you know, you smoke, right? So one day, one of these younger kids was mad at my brother. Mm -hmm. So he told my dad, you know, Benny smokes. My dad said, yeah, what brand you smoke? Uh -huh. So he told him, he said, good, don't ask nobody for cigarettes anymore. Uh -huh. I'll buy you cigarettes for you. Oh. 
So the kid didn't know what to do. Yeah. That's awesome. But it was it was wonderful because mm -hmm. when he met me, he was not smoking already. Mm -hmm. And I never smoked, so that was wonderful. <laughs> that is good. Yeah. yeah. When you're willing to give up something for your loved ones, mm -hmm. uh, that's the show of uh, real intent mm -hmm. and uh, honest and, uh, of, of course, genuine love, mm -hmm. which we're talking uh, about today. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things I really, one of his other many traits mm -hmm. that I really like is that, you know, I have uh, three children. Yes. And, of course, their dad died when they were young. Mm -hmm. But when he came into our lives, they were teenagers. Mm -hmm. And oh, what a challenge. Yes, a big challenge. Mm -hmm. And he took that challenge. And, I mean, it was like, hey, you know, you're going to marry me, then you're going to marry my kids too. That's just the deal, you know. They're part of the package. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And, you know... They, he talked with them, and in fact, they, he asked them, mm -hmm. um, for besides asking me, you know, to get married to me, he sat down, he set them all down and said, hey, I'm going to marry your mom, mm -hmm. but I'm never going to be your dad. Mm -hmm. You know, yet your dad is, has gone, you know, has passed, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I'm here to be your friend. Yes. And it was like, wow, you know, they couldn't believe it. In fact, mm -hmm. my daughter had a little bit, was a little bit apprehensive because yeah. she said, this guy... She was already 18, so uh -huh. she says, this guy's a little bit too mannerly, you know, and mm -hmm. he's, and she's never, I guess, met someone like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, uh, but now, they all love him. Yes. All three of them. Awesome. Our grandchildren, you know, they uh -huh. just. It's great. Kids are good. One of, my grand one of my grandsons who's on the mainland now, he says, Papa walks on water. I said, no, he doesn't. He never does <laughs> anything wrong. And if I say something and I say, oh, I'm so angry today or whatever, uh -huh. he's, what did you do? Mm -hmm. Not what Papa did. What did you do? You know, it's, it's never his thing. fault. No, never yeah. his fault. It's mine. You know, John Moses who walks on yeah. water. Wow, <laughs> brother Dave John. It sounds so awesome because in today's world, uh, fast pace and sounds like seems like we're losing uh, those family exactly. values. Exactly. You know the things that you talked about that you learned from uh, your mother and dad growing up, mm -hmm. we seem to be losing it yeah, because well. society uh, doesn't uh, really uh, enforces the value mm -hmm. of uh, res respect, yeah. exactly. which is really, there really important. Yes. Mutual respect, which is needed in a relationship and uh, you're agreeing, sis. Mm -hmm. And uh, these key points or key elements are important to keep the relationship going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I've always learned that respect is a two-way street. Mm -hmm. I give you respect, you give me respect. Yes. And I've done that with our kids. Mm -hmm. And I, until today, I'm not sure I ever did. Mm -hmm. Because they know they can talk to me, no matter what the subject, and I listen. Mm -hmm. And then if they want an opinion, I will give it to them. I mm -hmm. will not force it on them. Mm -hmm. Say, well, this you got to do this, no. And yes. We're like the Brady Bunch because I have three children uh -huh. that are all here. And yes. he has three children that live in Texas. Uh -huh. And he has many grandchildren as well up yes. there. But that's what we are. We're, you know, we're the Brady Bunch. We're together. The perfect blended family. We try. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I like it when he said, I want to be your friend and mm -hmm. not impose or put on that uh, military order. Mm -hmm. Exactly, like, never. Like, I'm gonna never. be your dad from now on. You give me the respect no. because what I see is what you do. What I say is no. what you do. No, never. that's not gonna happen. Never. Yeah. I think I'm more disciplined with my kids than he was. Uh -huh. Because I have two boys and a girl, and especially the boys, he would say, let them go, they're boys. Uh-huh. But they're men now. But I mean, at that time, mm -hmm. you know, he says, let them go. You know, I was more, a little bit, I tried to be a little bit more strict, but mm -hmm. it just didn't work, you know, sometimes. I can, one thing I want to say, those children, her, her kids, uh -huh. has never, ever disrespected me. That's because you gave them respect, and brother. They don't call me dad, mm -hmm. they call me John. Mm -hmm. And which I love that. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that's a relationship. And, you know, we can talk about anything. I know the oldest son, he's kind of hold back a little bit, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. we still can talk. Mm -hmm. Wesley, he's cool. Mm -hmm. He's our youngest one. Mm -hmm. And then, well, Gina, well, you know, daughter's always special, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I thought, I thought that you were the dad all this time, mm -hmm. just watching you folks yeah. from afar, mm -hmm. you know. And that goes to show the true uh, paternal love yes. that you have for uh, Nancy's children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. they know it. I mean, you know, I never hold back. Mm -hmm. They know that. I don't yeah. have to tell them that I love. They yes. know that I love. Uh-huh. And that's the way it should be. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to talk about... Uh, 
a challenge in everybody's relationship, which is, do you ever fight over money? Because every now and then that gets in the way. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, I, I think uh -huh. it's more, not fighting, but more of a discussion. Discussion. Yeah, because you know me, Amy, I'm, I'm involved with a lot of projects. Yes. That we often, handle a lot of money. Uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. And we have to sometimes use our own money mm -hmm. to make those projects go forward. And I've done that many, many, mm -hmm. many times. And um, he does mm -hmm. sometimes get upset about it. But it's just for a little while. You know, he'll say something. I told you not to do this, not to do that, da, da, da. And I don't say anything because I'm wrong. And then later on, he'll come and he'll say, you know what, babe, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I'll help you. But let's try to make better decisions. That is so awesome. Yes, I get the same tip <laughs> from my husband. <laughs> because he has to carry the difference and the load. You know how it yeah. works, sis. Yeah. We don't have yeah. to go over uh, the figures. But he tells me, oh, uh, just a, watch out a little bit on the extra spending yeah. this month because we need to make it uh we want to make sure that we're able to continue doing our mission mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. without having to break the bank mm -hmm. and and that is good that's good yeah yeah it's a healthy discussion because uh, the reason i ask is that sometimes uh, money matters mm -hmm. kind of break the marriage mm -hmm. because uh the two are not working together mm -hmm. as a team yeah. if i may say uh, because the marriage is right. a team right. you yeah. know you got to be considerate of each other's feeling and make sure that you don't make decisions based on your own just because you want that Louis Vuitton bag. Yeah. You know, I, I don't go buying that $5,000 bag. I know Sir John was going to say, okay, honey, uh, you can buy it uh, next month because we have a little <laughs> bit more fun to uh, do that to splurge, but they just don't go out and, and, and do it. Yeah. Yeah. I still. I still have to run uh, the big purchases through my husband. Yeah. Well, I do know? too. I, I you uh -huh. know, and in due respect, you know, you've yes. got to run it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. but, so uh, with the remaining minutes, uh, mm -hmm. what would you, uh, again, advise to young couple or your children that is wanting to make the marriage work? Uh, commun like I said, communication is mm -hmm. one of the most main things. And um, always be loving. Do little things. Even if it's the littlest thing, mm -hmm. it means a lot. Um, when John and I, uh, well, when we first were married, for several years, every Friday he would bring me home a rose. Wow. Every Friday for a little bit. Until uh -huh. I told him, you know what, those roses get expensive, you know. <laughs> but he still does for every occasion, whatever it is. You know, yes. he always does. Even if it's just a card. Um, I know I used to always go and just little things, you know, mm -hmm. um, buy cards and leave it on his dresser drawer or something. Just, you know, I, we always, we always, every single day, mm -hmm. we say to each other, I love you. And awesome. when he doesn't, you know, we're busy or doing something, uh -huh. I'll say, you know what, you forgot to do. He says, no, I didn't forget. I love you. <laughs> awesome. Okay, that brings our uh, very special Valentine's Day edition, uh, my one and only love. Yes, don't forget to express that genuine love, not only in Valentine's, but each and every day. Okay. Uh, like uh, Sister Nancy and Brother John said, every little bit counts. But say it with love. Mm -hmm. And uh, with that, I say mahalo, mabuhay, maraming salamat, and we love you all. Thank you again. Mabuhay.